Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is another episode of my feature channel of the week. In this video series, what I do is I feature a lot of the smaller channels and try to get their names out there. YouTube has continually been making it more difficult for smaller channels to get started, and I really enjoy trying to use my influence to try to be able to help some of the smaller channels get known. They add a lot of value to the community, and I really enjoy their videos. The channel that I picked today is a very special channel. I really enjoy it. I really respect the person that runs it. This person is almost like the father of Locksport. He is so willing to help anyone out and is just a really great person. He will never say no and he is just such a nice guy. You really need to try to check out his channel and meet him and I have more information coming up on his channel in just a second. Please stay tuned. Alright, without further ado, let's reveal the channel that we're going to feature today. The guy that runs this channel is a very nice guy and he's willing to help out anyone that ever needs help. He's a powerhouse when it comes to picking challenge locks. Throughout his channel you can see him just opening up many different challenge locks and he just does an excellent job at it. He is really fun to watch while he's opening up locks and I just really enjoy his style when he is working on them. He is a guy that can never say no to anyone, and if you ever need help in any way, he'll go above and beyond trying to be a great resource and trying to help you out. He is almost like your father when it comes to Locksport. He just really wants to teach and really wants you to be successful, and is just such a nice guy. He has also been running his own locksmithing business under his own license for the last 30 years, and he's just a guy with just a ton of experience, and you can just learn a lot from him. Currently, his channel is just about 450 subscribers, a little bit more than that, but it is growing every day. In the channel that we're going to feature today, if you haven't guessed already, is Mr. Bill Bacardi. He is such a nice guy. He has such a great channel, and I really recommend that you check it out. And what I'm going to do right now is roll his highlight reel so you can see a great preview of what his channel is all about. And that is coming up right now. Well, hello, guys. This is Billy Bacardi here. We're going to start off with a video of my home shop. On this shelf, we have all mortise locks. Okay, here we go to the key machines, guys. Okay, this is my Bravo. And I have a Code Max here. Buffer. My press for SFIC cores. Here's my regular toolbox. My grinder. Uh, Sidewinder. Tubular key machine. My drill press. Frame and steel machine for steel keys. Then I have up here more <laughs> just locks, my wall of steel keys, my other pin kit. There's a bunch of challenge locks here on the table. And then Trekmaster sent me these beautiful picks. There's my pinning board. It's my Kennedy box. I got all my stuff in here that I need within hand's reach. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed it, fellas. Have a good evening, guys. I can't seem to pick a lock to save my life on camera. I think I have really scared locks. Hi guys, Bill Bacardi here. We're gonna reach in his box here. I don't know which one we're gonna grab, but we're gonna grab a lock out of here and we're gonna try and pick it on camera. That's the first one jumped out on me. It's a lorry. It's from Pick Me 1977. Let's start at the back of this baby, huh? Here we go. Is it? Oh, we're open. Holy God, it's my first one on camera, guys. Hallelujah. Let's get it gutted. Okay, let me show you what those pins look like. Up close and personal there, fellas. Can you see that? I can't tell if you can see that or not. Like I said, first video, guys. I don't know why, but this truck master's calling my name here, this dimple-tastic that he had. <laughs> There's the key tag. I don't know if you can see the bidding too well on that key or not, guys. Um, let's try and go this way with it and see if we can get them open or not. Something on six, guys. And I can't tell where I'm at exactly, like I said. Oh, 
Oh, we're open there. Oh, guys, we're open. Yes. Wow, that was a tough pick. Let me get that tension wrench out of there. Whew. I just got home. We're going to pick a lock. And I've been thinking about this <laughs> piston stroke from Tobias and Julian since yesterday when I opened the package from uh, Daz Evers. It says TNJ right on the side. And a 2.3 liter. It's a Wilka. And the, the, the pins in this are just awesome. I've seen uh, Daz Evers pick it. So I'm going to try and get it picked for you. We're going to get this opened up. And uh, I really want to show you what's in here. I mean, they are just... Awesome, awesome, awesome pins, guys. So I'm going to use this. I have the flat five. I have three of them taped together. And uh, let's see if we can get in this or not, guys. I know it was a pretty tough pick. I can tell you that. Oh, we're open there. Wow. Guys, that was a tough lock. Piston stroke is the name of the lock, guys. Uh, let me get a pick here. Whew, and then we'll bring this down to the pinning board. And I'll show you what was in it. Just an awesome, awesome lock. Don't pay attention to the pins that are up above, guys. Those are all uh, just some stuff I was playing with. Okay, let me get them all fixed there first. Okay, number one, we had this really, really long spool here. Keep in. With this piston above it. See, it's got the connecting rod on it. It's even got uh, serrations in it for the, uh, where like the rings would go on the piston itself. How cool is that? Number two was this pin and pin, key pin. He went just like this way, guys. I'm sorry. He was in there like this, and then this guy was above him. And he's got a serration on the pin and pin. Then another piston above it, long copper spring. Number three, we had this spool with this piston above it. Really, I mean, that's just awesome. The pins are just awesome there. That, that is so cool, I think. Me being a motor guy, I mean, <laughs> that's very, very awesome. Uh, another piston here with the double serration on it for, like, the ring, where the rings would go on the piston. Um, another spool here with a piston above it with a really long copper screen. This is the longest one of all of them. I'm going to give you another once over here, guys, because I'm almost at 15 seconds, 15 minutes. So I'm going to do this pretty fast. Obviously, that's number one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do the sightless senshi challenge. And we're going to do this Titan tonight, guys. It's a stock lock. I'm going to try with this Daz Evers. Okay, where is the keyway? I have a real hard problem finding a keyway here of where my pick should go in. I can't tell. Oh, we're open there. Holy cow. It says, be very careful when picking this lock. Light tension is heavy tension will snap the drivers. Have fun, Leon. I believe this is the one that has the wooden uh, driver pins he made. There's the bidding on the key, guys. I hope you can see that. Without further, let's get this in the vise and get it picked. Okay, here we go. Okay, one little click on one, not on two. Oh, three gave me a little turn on the plug when I hit him. Oh, it's loose in the vise still. You know what? I don't want to lose that little bit of false set that I have. Okay. Oh, we're hoping there. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're going to take that. <laughs> and one, we had this. See, the key pins have like one serration on them here at the top. Only on this one's the only one that doesn't have it. All the rest of them do. And this is the serrated that was a number one with that copper spring. This guy was actually this way, like that, okay, with that copper spring. This real cool little spool. Nice woodwork, Leon. Then this T-pin was in four with that spring. And then this double spool was in five with that. And see how all the key pins have one little serration on the top of them? That's the first time I've ever seen that in a Wilka. Very cool. Sightless Senchi. 
sent me his first challenge lock. All right, the lock's name is Jupiter. It says, hey, Bill. So here's my first challenge lock. I've named her Jupiter after the character by the same name in a popular Japanese TV show called Sailor Moon. In the show, Jupiter is a senshi of courage and strength. And is a and is just a strong, awesome character. And I hope my lock will live up to its namesake and be a fun but challenging pick. Okay, everything feels pretty much shut to me. I think it's one holding me up here. Yeah, I got counter on and we're open there. <laughs> Beautiful. This is uh multi-lock from Steel Pinnings. I'm gonna back off a little bit because I, I just can't get under four at all. And I'm in a false set here, guys. It's not springing back on me. Uh, all right, good. I feel like everything I'm open there. Oh, beautiful, guys. Nice. Would have never thought six months ago when I put this channel up that people would want to watch me pick locks. <laughs> Uh, I want to say thank yous all for subscribing and watching all the videos and all your comments, everything else. I think everybody in this community knows that if there's anything that I can help any one of yous with, even if you're not a subscriber, if you get a hold of me in the comments or if you have my email already, uh, all you have to do is let me know, ask me what you need. You know, if you need help with something, you have a question, you have... Uh, you know, you want a challenge lock or something, and if I can help you out and you got a channel, I'll send you a challenge lock. Really want to say thank you to everybody again, and I appreciate all the support that you guys give us. And this is a great community. I love it completely, wholeheartedly, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out the highlight reel that I have made on Bill Bacardi. He is such a great guy and I do not have enough nice things to say about him. He is a guy that just wants to see everyone successful and he has so much experience. He's been a locksmith for 30 years and he is willing to answer any of your questions and just wants to see everyone be successful. He is also a powerhouse when it comes to opening up challenge locks. His channel is making new content very frequently and you can see him opening up about two or three challenge locks every week and he is just so fun to watch and he does such a great job with it. If you'd like to see more videos by Bill Bacardi, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link up on the top here a link that will go directly to his channel so you can see some more videos by Bill Bacardi. And if you enjoyed what you have seen, what you can consider doing is hitting the subscribe button. Every subscription makes such a big difference. It will help his channel pop up higher in the search algorithm. It will just help his channel become more well known. So this is all I have today for my feature channel of the week. It has been on Bill Bacardi and he is a great guy and he is worth checking out. Either way guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day and just thank you so much for checking this out.